Here, we'll introduce some useful relationships that exist among hydronium concentration, hydroxide concentration, pH, and pOH. Here's something that we should be aware of from math concerning logs. If A times B is equal to C, then the log of A plus the log of B is equal to the log of C. We already know that in any aqueous solution, the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide is equal to Kw. If we take the log of everything, it follows that the log of H3O plus concentration plus the log of OH minus concentration is equal to the log of Kw. Now we'll multiply everything by negative 1. And we get that the negative log of a hydronium ion concentration plus the negative log of hydroxide ion concentration is equal to the negative log of Kw. The negative log of the hydronium ion concentration is the pH. The negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration is the pOH. And the negative log of Kw is equal to something called pKw. So we have two important equations. The concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide is equal to Kw. And pH plus the pOH is equal to pKw where pKw is defined as the negative log of Kw. Both of these equations are true for any temperature at which water is a liquid. Now we'll zoom in to a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. At 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So at 25 degrees Celsius, the pKw, which is the negative log of Kw, is the negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 14th which is equal to 14. So we can say specifically that at 25 degrees Celsius, the pKw is equal to 14. Remember, we had recently determined that the pKw is equal to pH plus pOH. And at 25 degrees, pKw is equal to 14. Therefore, we can say that at 25 degrees, pH plus pOH is equal to 14. You'll be using this equation a lot. Just make sure you use caution. Remember this is true only at 25 degrees. Remember that if the temperature is not mentioned in a problem, we can assume that it's 25 degrees. And we can assume that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Here's an example. We're told that the pOH of a solution is 3.49, and we're asked what the pH is. We're not given the temperature, so we can assume that it's 25 degrees, and that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. We want to find the pH, so we'll rearrange the blue equation to solve for pH. And we get the yellow equation, pH is equal to 14 minus pOH, which is 14 minus 3.49. And that equals 10.51, so the pH is 10.51. Now we'll review the things we know are true at any temperature, and things we know are true only at 25 degrees. We'll start with the equations that are true at any temperature. First of all, concentration of hydronium times hydroxide is equal to Kw. pH plus pOH is equal to pKw. pH is equal to negative log of hydronium ion concentration. The concentration of hydronium is equal to 10 to the negative pH. pOH is equal to the negative log of OH minus concentration. OH minus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. pKw is negative log of Kw. And Kw is equal to 10 to the negative pKw. Now we'll review what's true only at 25 degrees. Concentration of hydronium times concentration of hydroxide is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. pH plus pOH is equal to 14 at 25 degrees. Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and pKw is equal to 14. We see that any equations that contain the number 14 are only a true at 25 degrees. In order to succeed in the rest of this unit, you really need to know all of these equations. Pause and make a screen capture of this, save it, and go over it periodically. Here's the square at 25 degrees. It shows all the formulas you can use to make one-step or two-step conversions among hydronium ion concentration, hydroxide ion concentration, pH, and pOH. It would be good if you could draw something similar to this from memory. 
it will help you with calculations you'll be required to do. For now, you may want to pause the video, take a screenshot, and print yourself a copy of this to work with. Here's a simpler version we can use to help us come up with plans for calculations. For example, let's say we're given the hydronium ion concentration and we want to find the pOH. We can do this in two steps. We could start by converting hydronium ion concentration to pH, and in the second step, we'll convert pH to pOH. Alternately, we could have started by converting hydronium ion concentration to hydroxide ion concentration, and then hydroxide ion concentration to pOH. This would give us the same answer as the other method. In another example, let's say we're given the pH and we want to find the hydroxide ion concentration. We could start by converting pH to pOH and then pOH to hydroxide ion concentration. Or alternately, we could have started with the pH and converted to hydronium ion concentration and then from hydronium ion concentration to hydroxide ion concentration. Mm -hmm.